All right, so in this video, I'm gonna try to improve this function a little bit. So actually from the last video, I did make a very small change. I basically just moved this deconstruction of keys to a variable and then I use that variable, but nothing really too fancy here. It's pretty much the same thing. So what I do want to do in this one, I want to work on this thing that I'm not very happy about is that when you do your columns in this queries, so for example, like this one, see if I do customer ID and I do like uppercase D, for example, it doesn't work because it's case sensitive. So I wanna make sure that I change this if possible so that it's not case sensitive. So let's see. So I've noticed they have an option like that, but I also have noticed there are probably some issues with it. So we'll see. So if I go to this library that they have, if I scroll down, okay, I think it's here. There it is. See, they have this uh, option that's case sensitive. So I'm going to try to make it not case sensitive. So I'm going to copy that line, go to my implementation here and just add it here on top and change this to false. Save this. Now let's go back and see what happens. It's this. So let's do ID like this. So see that worked. Apparently, see, if I do customer ID, now it's not the same case. It worked. Now let's go back and change this to ID, something like that. So now it shouldn't matter because this is kind of lowercase, uppercase, and this one is in a different case, like lowercase. But as you can see, it doesn't really work. So I think it has something to do with a process that when we take this data and convert it to array of objects, that may have to do something with this. So the way I think I should be able to address this, if I just take all the data when I'm doing the conversion and make sure I just convert all the column names to lowercase, then this should then not matter. So it should work both ways. See, doesn't work even when I match exactly the same thing. That's kind of annoying. What I'll do, I'm gonna go back to my script and get back to the part when I'm doing array to object conversion. And here we take all the column names, which is the headers, and we basically just use them as the name of the column. Now what I'll do, I can just take the column name and I'm just gonna convert it to string just in case and then to lower case. So I'm gonna take whatever column names are provided, whether they're uppercase or lowercase and convert them to lowercase anyways so that the data sitting as a JavaScript object is a lowercase to begin with. So I save this, let's go take a look what happened. Hey, this actually works. So this is ID uppercase. Now I've mentioned ID uppercase and it works. So what if I do ID now lowercase? Does it still work? Yes. What if we do customer ID? Does that work? Yes. Excellent. So what if we change the table to uppercase L? Still works. Cool, so that seems to work fine. So this should take care of the problem. So now it's just not gonna be case sensitive. And again, when I say case sensitive, I'm just talking about column names and table aliases. And I think that's pretty much all I want to do in here. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.